Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. We've got the Reverend and the Rhino. Look at that outfit. Yeah. We're going to be drinking from the oh, Tree yeah. Brewing Company in BC. Hophead India Pale Ale. Down a bit. So, this Hophead India Pale Ale is supposedly a full-bodied IPA. And it's 5.6% alcohol. Uh, the only tree product I've had is the Double Hophead. And... That wasn't a good time for me. So, Pritchard is this all they fucking make. I'm not looking forward to this. There you are. Oh, nice color. It is. It's it's actually a nice color. It's a little bit hazy. Lots of carbonation. I wish I was hazy when I was drinking this. <laughs> be a lot better. Um, yeah. How the fuck did they do this shit? How that works. Woo. Oh, well, there's Warrior and Cascade Hops in there. I will be kicking my mouth's ass. Mm. Your mouth's ass. It smells, like, it smells like a little <laughs> bit of Willamette as well. Don't smell any malt and it's supposed to be full Will body. But hey, what the hell's Willamette? Willamette. You'll see that when you get my homebrew. Mm -hmm. Put like four ounces of Willamette in it, dry hopped. <laughs> Just for James. God. You are a genius. You know, it's not the worst IPA we've had. It's not the worst, but uh, as you know, I don't like this kind of stuff, really. i just gotten better at tolerating it. Uh, very, very piney. Uh, the grapefruit from the Cascades comes through, but the uh, piney, and, piney and cedary flavors come through, too. How, how did that get decided upon from being put into beer? Like, you want to throw a force, like, mm, I really like this, I want to drink that? How the fuck was that a decision? Well, long, long ago, that was there for preservative. The hops were the preservatives in the beer. And they just decided, yeah, let's keep that? Ugh. I actually really like the bottle. I just don't know how the fuck they make the weird bits uh, pop And out. look, it even goes in a little bit. It's handled. Mm. Ooh. So if you were able to drink a lot of this, it's a lot easier to grip. I don't really see people being able to drink a lot of this. No, it's made for blind people so they can grab the bottle. They just oh. can't buy it. So it's like New York State. <laughs> not loud. It oh, America. <laughs> has a little bit of citrus flavoring to it too, like not just the grapefruit, a little tiny bit of orange. There's a little tiny bit of, of, of sweetness up front, of maltiness. So yeah, it actually is full bodied. Um, I could probably drink a six pack of this in a night, but I wouldn't touch anything else. I was drunk, probably. I could, but I would not start this like this might be getting a day. I'll give it a 725. It's good enough that I'd buy it again, but I wouldn't really choose it as my drink. I'm gonna do five. Don't. Just don't do it, internet. Unless you really like that kind of stuff. No. Thank you for watching, YouTube. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.